What's up everyone? So I just wanted to go over a couple things on my trail finder body here and I have something to show you. I actually have a trailer for this that I'm going to put together. So first off, I forgot to mention these are rubber, which is one of my favorite features so they don't get ripped off near as easy. And then if we go in the back, you can see I added some boxes. And what's inside here? Well, I'll show you if I can get the thing popped apart one-handed. Let's see. There we go. That would be a land anchor. So we're gonna try this out when we take this out for a test run. I'm gonna pull the body off and show you what I did with my electronic arrangement. So that's just a Velcro holding those in back there. I do have to say I hate the mounting system on this body. It's not quite as tedious as screws every time, but you gotta open the door. And then there's a body pin right here. And then if we look underneath, you can just barely see it, but there's a body pin right there. You pull that out. It's not so hard taking them out, it's putting them in that's a pain and getting the body on. So let's uh, turn this around. We'll get the other ones out. You can see my battery wire hanging on there. Get this other pin. Okay, so I'll be right back. It's kind of a pain to pull this thing off, especially with Okay, one. so I'll show you why it's a pain to get it off of there, even without the body clips. So, under the body here, you can see one goes in that way and one goes in straight. So you gotta kind of bend and fiddle with it to get it to pop on there. But once it's on, it's a good mount. So here's my electronic arrangement. They give you a tray right here to move your ESC and receiver to. I ran the motor wires all the way up and this is actually a motor from Mrs. Rabbit right here, the uh, stock SCX 10.2 motor, 35T. And the reason that's in there is because I had a 550 motor in here, a Trailmaster Sport 27 turn, and it was too long. It would hit the front of the body there. In fact, I think there's scratches on it from that. Give me just a sec. Yeah, you can see where it was hitting the body. So yeah, now to what come in the mail for this thing. And uh, oh yeah, I did have to switch to a half height servo. This is one I've had since my original ECX Barrage 1.9 crawler. And Horizon had sent me it because the stock one blew out and they had no other option. But these are like $90 and uh, 310 ounces of torque. Which is way more than I need for the transmission. But for now, it'll have to work. It does have a stripped gear, but it doesn't move enough to really hit it, I'm hoping. So far, it seems to work. I've done a little bit of testing without the body on. Anyways, let's get to the trailer. Okay, so this actually came almost two weeks early from China, I believe. I'll put the link in the description below the video so you can order one if you want. But I got this because I thought with the trail finder it'd be fun to have so right here we have a trailer to pull behind it so i'm going to put this together real quick because there's no instructions or anything so i'm going to have to kind of figure it out myself it come with wheels and tires and these are some decent looking wheels so yeah let's pull this stuff out and put it together Now it ain't no RC four wheel drive quality. There is a few issues like bins and a couple spots are actually broken here. I'm assuming from shipping, but no biggie. I can always do something with it. I'm thinking either converting it to a camper or just pulling maybe the uh, welder I got from Bull Gear behind it or something. It will just let me know what you guys think. So yeah. First thing, of course, you want to open up the parts, see what we got. And the reason I went with the trailer is because just this axle cost as much as the whole trailer. So, I mean, why not, right? Open this a bit 
more. So here we go. We got leaf springs, the hitch mechanism itself, and then hexes, and I believe this is the hitch too. So first we got to get the leafs together and mount it. The hitch I'll do last. So I'm figuring this out as we go, so I might mess up a couple times, we'll see. I've taken the trail finder suspension apart enough, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Here we go, here's all the little tools. Let's see, looks like we've got the wider screws. So yeah, now I might change this if it's too uh, stiff of a suspension by removing one of the leaves, but we'll see. I don't know for sure yet. And I just happen to have the right size. So we'll have to take these apart. I'm pretty sure this screw is just to keep all the leaves together. are going to thread in, I believe. Oh no, those screws are too thick. So it'll be the shorter screws that will hold the leaves together. Just as I thought. So let's get the leaf packs on. I'm just lining up all the holes here. So hold with a little bit of pressure, and then I'm just going to start this screw, which is going to be tricky because I'm trying to record it and hold it. There we go. So we got one screw in. Sorry, it's half off camera. Now, I will go back through this and Loctite everything. It's just a bit of a pain to do while on camera and all that. So there's one leaf set on. Actually, I can undo these just by hand. I'm just gonna flip that screw around. And then do the same thing. Now, if these are anything like most leaves, they should be the same length either direction, or the axle should sit centered either way, I should say. So there we go, there's the first part finished. Now to get the axle on the trailer. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Now this is where the longer, thicker screws are going to come into play. First I'm going to mount the front. And that should be simple, just put the screw through and tighten it up. But don't over tighten it because you want the leaves to be able to move a little bit. Let me guess. tool around there.
just snug it down a bit. Now we gotta get this side. I wish I had a better place to record with some better lighting, but I can't afford a studio. I am kind of collecting things to try and build something like that out in the backyard. Nothing fancy, but a place to work. And there we go. And that's when we get to the shackles here. So these will go on the back part of the leaf. I'm going to start by putting the lower screw in. Okay, so these are going to red almost. I think it's just paint though. That's keeping them from threading in all the way. Or not threading but just pressing through it. We got this though. Now this is the cheapest trailer I could find on Amazon so we can't expect it to be super high end or great quality so far I'm happy with it though it's going together pretty smooth there we go that's good and tight Let me know in the comments then, are you planning on going from one tenth scale from micro or do you already have one tenth scales? What's your favorite scale? You know, I like to know stuff like that. Because I know some guys love one tenth scale and would never go down to a micro and some guys are opposite love micro and will never go down to or up to one tenth scale. Me, I love them all. Anything RC, I will play with. Oh, that side went in, no problem. So, I actually started in crawlers many years ago with a Maisto crawler because I couldn't afford a high end, hobby grade crawler at the time. So, you can make a toy grade a decent crawler with a little bit of TLC and, like, upgrading the electronics over time and stuff. I was actually surprised in that little toy grade when I had it. So, last screw for the axle going on here. stiff right now. Let's get the tires on. Oh, they even give you an extra axle shaft or an axle pin in case you lose one. So center this pin up. You know what's funny? Some name brands don't come with metal hexes. 
but a cheap trailer does. What's with that? Now, if I don't like this setup, when I put it behind the trail finder, I might move this axle to above the leaves, but we'll see how it looks. So that's on. Let me do this side now. Big thank you to whoever's still on the video with me. I know this isn't the most exciting video. This one fits a little tight. We got it though. So, get this lined up and then we'll put, put the uh, hitch on. Now the hitch might have got bent a little bit in shipping because it was sticking out of the package. So I might have to bend that back. There we go. So that's with the uh, tires on. So I'm guessing this spacer goes on here and then we just screw this link in. Butterfingers. Always butterfingers. And that should do it for that part. Maybe I can turn it one more. There we go. Okay, so the hitch mechanism right here, let's take a look at that. So it comes with little screws to mount it. I think I'm going to have to put it on the bumper on my trail finder. Because of this style of hitch. But the way it works is you would line this up and put the pin through it. Then once the pin's through it, there's a little body clip right here. And that will slide over the end and it should lock the pin in place if I can get a good grip on it there we go so there uh, sorry not the best focus but you can see, now it's locked on there. That's how the hitch works. It even come with a little scale chain for it. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope this helps someone else out who might be getting this trailer. So yeah, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And be sure to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I post. I'll talk to you all in the next one. TTFN.